good morning. Welcome back to my little... Oh, way to go. <laughs> it's okay. He just dropped a bunch of tomatoes and a couple of really ripe ones split open. <laughs> At least they're ripe. Right. Anyway, this video is about saving seeds. So, what we've got here, I've got these little jars. These work out pretty good. And for uh, some of your larger tomatoes, you maybe want larger jars, the little jelly jars. But um, you don't have to use a lid. You can use saran wrap. But the important thing is, let's say I cut open a tomato, right? I don't know if we've got one that I can demonstrate that. Actually, we could. Here, give me that. Let's come over here. So what you want to do is find a tomato that's like really ripe or whatever you're saving seed from you want to get like the best looking uh, ripest looking fruit so this is pretty ripe but we've already saved seeds for black cherry but anyway I'm just going to take that the room bus head open and then what I would typically do is just this little sack of uh, jelly sack that's got seeds all over it. I would just kind of crush that and get the seeds out. It's really and typically I would save seeds from like two or three different good looking uh, tomatoes. Like this. That's a really good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Another true to type. So you're going to end up with a little pulpy solution like that. And you can actually try to squeeze more juice. And by the time you do like uh, three tomatoes or something like that, especially on the cherries, you have about a quarter, half inch of fluid. Then what you do is you put your lid over it and seal it. And then we're going to leave it out on the counter and kind of a just kitchen counter away from the sun. And after a couple days, actually this has been about four days, here's sun gold. After a couple days, you're going to end up with something that looks like this. I don't know if you can smell that. That's mold scum that's formed on that. And this is called the wet the wet method for saving seeds. So we got this mold scum. So these are ready and what this mold scum does is it inoculates the seed um, so that they're they've got some resistance to um, bacteria and fungus. Things that would maybe kill them if you were trying to start them you know in the soil and all that. It just makes them more resilient. So these are ready to go. So what we're going to do We're going to fill that jar up and we're going to wait and we're going to let the seeds drop to the bottom. All the good seeds will drop to the bottom. Everything that's dead will rise to the top because of the carbon dioxide as the seed's breaking down because it's dead. These are all alive so they just drop. Then we're going to just slowly drain this off. And we're going to do this Probably uh, two or three times. You're going to do it until the liquid's more or less clear. And most of the gunk, see? Most of this gunk, the rest of the scum is drained off. Let the seeds drop to the bottom, drain it off. One more time. See how clear that is? That's pretty much, we've pretty much got most of it. You can look down in there, it's pretty clear.
You want to be careful when you're draining that you don't dump the seeds out with it. But And then the last time, I kind of swirl it around and get the seeds and I dump it out in this colander. Or a strainer. Somebody, yeah, a strainer. And I take it and I rinse them off pretty good. Just to get anything else that's remaining. Then the next step is to take our towel, kind of wipe the bottom, that gets the excess liquid off of it for the most part. Then what we're going to do. You grab a napkin or watch for the tomatoes done. You grab a napkin or a paper towel. And we're just gonna pop that down. So this variety again, sun gold. And then what we'll do, this will stay out for um, a couple weeks until the seeds are completely dry and ready to go. And then what we'll do is we'll package them up in envelopes, package them up in a seed, a seed envelope, seal it, and we'll put it in the refrigerator or freezer. Uh, and the reason why we do that is that it slows down the metabolism of the... Uh, little seed, um, you know, what's alive in that seed, that little germ, and it slows the metabolism down so your seeds are stay viable or um, they last longer. And so uh, that's what we'll do, but I mean, as you can see from one tomato, I mean, we got, actually this is from, uh, I think I used two sun golds for this, so from two sun golds we've got you know, about 30 to 50 seeds just right there. Here's our black cherry that we save uh, from three tomatoes. There's well over a hundred on there more than likely or close to it. But those will dry out. We'll package them up. We'll be good to go. So um, I guess that's it for now. Till next time. Happy gardening.